Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Last week, this channel has crossed 200,000 subscribers milestone. Thank you so much for this. We are getting bigger and bigger, every week. I really appreciate your love and support. So today, we are going to create this. This video is sponsored by Video Blocks. If you ever need for stock videos, After Effects, or motion background, then Video Blocks is the best option for you. As a content creator, many times you have to use stock videos for your projects. And it can cost you more than your entire budget. But, with Video Blocks, get studio quality stock, for a fraction of the cost. All content on the video blocks are royalty free, so you can use it for commercial, and personal projects. Go to the link in the description, to get all the stock videos you can imagine. It cost only $99, for the first year. This is a limited time offer. So, need stock content? Visit the video blocks. So let's get started, open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Cinematic Logo Reveal. I am using the 1920 by 800 resolution to make it wider. Also, I am using the 24 frames per second to make it more cinematic. And my duration is 10 seconds. You are free to choose your own settings. Now, let's import these files, which we are going to use to create this intro. You can download these files from the link in the description. After adding these files to your project, first, place this background image into the timeline. This is going to be our background. You can also add your own image, or background you want. The first step is, to make this background image, a bit darker. So, go to the effects and the presets, and search for the levels. Apply it onto the layer and then adjust a few settings. Grab this slider, and then drag it to the right a little. It will add some contrast to it. Now take this slider, and drag it to the left, and the image will be dark. Keep the same setting as I have, don't make it too dark. Now add your logo to the timeline as well. Place the logo above the background layer. And then press S, to open scale. Adjust the size as you like. Now, right click on it, and choose pre-compose. Let's call it logo inside, and make sure to select move all attributes into the new composition. Cool. Let's add the metal texture to it. Place this texture image between the logo and background layer. Now we are going to mask out our logo from this metal texture layer, if you don't see your track mat tab here. Press F4 to switch between. If your F4 key is busy, in watching the promo of my upcoming short film, then right click here, go to columns, and select modes. Also, you should select the parent, and switches. Because we are going to use them all. Now change the track mat to alpha mat. And now we have our metal texture layer in our logo shape. Let's scale down this texture size to make the quality high. I am making it 50% smaller. Perfect. This looks good to me. Let's create some shadows, to add some depth to the scene. Select this logo layer, and press Ctrl plus D, to make a duplicate of it. Place this logo above the background layer, and make sure to turn on the visibility by clicking here. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the fill effect. Apply it onto the layer. And then, change its color to pure black. 
Now again go to the effects and the presets, and this time search for the CC radial fast blur effect. Apply it to the layer. Here we have this circle point, place this point, on top of the logo shape. And then increase the fast blur amount to 80%. Let's make this shadow darker. Again go to the effects and the presets, and here search for the glow effect. Apply it onto the layer, and it will make the shadow darker. If you place this anchor point to any side of the logo, it will affect this shadow direction as well, which we are going to use. Let's move to the next step. Select the metal layer, and right click on it. Go to the layer styles, and select bevel, and emboss. It will add some depth to the edges of your logo. Now here is the trick. Expand this bevel and emboss, and here you will find this size option. Increase the size value to the maximum, and also, change the depth value to 200%. Also, increase the soften value to maximum. Now we are going to use this angle value to make the light animation. Let's undo that, make sure you are in the first frame. And then add a keyframe on this angle. Go to the 10 second forward and change the angle value to 280 degrees. I am using a small number, so the moment will be slow. This is our animation looks now. Cool, this looks good to me. Let's animate the shadow, according to this light. Select this layer, and then select the radial fast blur effect. Add a keyframe on the center option, now according to the physics, shadow of this logo should be here, because of the light is coming from this direction. So place the anchor point to the area, so the shadow direction will be here. Now go to the 2 second forward, and then place this anchor point here. As you can see, I am placing the anchor point on the bright side of the logo only. Now go to the 4 second frame, and then change the direction to something like this. Now go to the 2 second forward, and follow the same step, as we did. Cool, this is our animation looks now. Let's add some depth to this logo layer. Select both logo and metal layers, and press Ctrl plus D, to make a duplicate of it. Expand this metal texture layer, and then open this layer styles. Here, open this bevel and emboss option, and change the soften value to 0. Also, change the size value to 4. I am also changing the depth value to 100%. Cool. Now scroll up, and expand this blending option. Open this advanced blending, and change the fill opacity to 0%. Cool. Here we have this nice looking design. Let's select all layer, and press U, double times, to minimize all layers. Now we are going to animate it. Create a new null object, and let's call it controls. Select all bottom layers, and then parent all layers with this null, in case this parent tab isn't visible to you, make sure to right click here, go to the columns and select parent. Now grab this Pickwick tool, and drop it to the controls layer. Now all the layers are connected to this control, so, we don't have to animate, each layer separately. Select this control layer, and press R, to open rotation and then add a keyframe on it. Now press S, to open scale, and add a keyframe on it as well. Press U double times, to open all the keyframes, now select both keyframes, and place them at the 6 second frame. Now make sure you are in the first frame. 
and change the scale value to 126%. Also, change the rotation value to 22 degrees. Here we have this smooth animation. Now select all keyframes, right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant, and select easy ease. Cool. Let's move to the next step. Place this particle tunnel layer on top of layers. And then change its mode to add. Here we have this light particles, on top of our layer. But this is distracting our logo, so let's remove the center part from it. Go to the tools, and select ellipse tool. Now create a circle into the center. While making a circle, make sure to select and hold the shift key on your keyboard, to make the perfect circle. Press V, to select the move tool, then double click on the mask anchor point, and place it in the center. Now change the mask to subtract, and then press F, to open feather. Here change the feather value to something 250 pixels. Now add the smoke layer on it as well. Change its blending mode to screen, and then press T, to open opacity. Change the opacity value to 10%. Here we have this not so good looking design. Select all layers, and press U, double times to minimize all layers. Now create a new adjustment layer, and make sure it is on top of layers. Again go to the effects and the presets, and search for the hue saturation effect. Apply it onto the adjustment layer, and then decrease the mask to saturation value to negative 100. Now search for the curve effect, and apply it onto the same layer. Now we are going to do some color corrections. Let's add some little contrast to it, just a little, not too high. Now change the channel to the red, and increase the red value as well. Switch to the green channel, and add a little green touch to it. Now switch to the blue channel, and turn it down, also, add a little contrast to it, to make it more appealing. Cool. Let's create a new solid, and call it light. Make it black, and click here to make it to the comp size. Now into the tool. Double click on this ellipse tool, to apply a mask to it. Now change the mask to subtract. And then add a feather value of 400 pixels. I am going to change blending mode of the particle layer to overlay, so it won't look different from our design. Also, let's change the opacity value to 60%, to make it lighter. I am also removing the contrast from it, so it won't be black completely. Let's do the final color correction. And we have this nice looking animation. So, our animation is complete, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching my tutorial, have a good day.